Hello friends, we are back with another video. This time it is the IGKO sample paper 2021-2022 for class 8. We will solve the question paper and find out how we can select the correct option and select out the wrong options. Before moving further, I request you to subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell icon for all notifications. Give us like and share this video if you find it useful. Question number 1. Project Tiger was started in 1973. Its aim is to create reserves in selected areas of India to increase the tiger population. Identify which of the following is not a tiger reserve. Now, let's see the options. Dudhua National Park. Dudhua is actually located in UP and it is coming under tiger project. Now, we can see that in the particular diagram here. Next uh, comes Kana. Kanha uh, is uh, located in Madhya Pradesh, MP. It is also coming under tiger project because Kanha and Dudhwa both are famous for uh, tigers only. Similipal is uh, located in Orissa. It is also famous for conservation of tiger. So these three uh, you can cancel. And Keula Deo Ghana National Park is famous for bird conservation. It is located, Keula Deo is located in Rajasthan, uh, Bharatpur. It has many man-made wetlands that uh, protect over 350 species of, uh, even more than that, uh, bird species, including the migratory ones. So we would go with option D. Come to question 2. Identify the yoga asana shown in the given figure or the given picture. Identify the yoga asana shown in the given picture. Okay, so halasana. I think this is not halasana. Now, second option is sarvangasana. Next is sar savasana. And the fourth one is uh, parsavottanasana. This particular one which is shown for the question is Sarvangasana. Question number three. Identify the Indian scientist who found out that light passes through a transparent material. Some of it undergoes change in its wavelength. The options are A. Homi J. Bhava B. C. V. Raman C. C. N. R. Rao D. M. S. Swaminathan. So let's see the options properly. Homi J. Bhava or Homi Jahangir Bhava was a nuclear physicist. He was the founding director of the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, on whose name the BARC BARC or Bhava Atomic Research Center is established. So uh, he is not the person who identified this phenomenon. Come to CNR Rao. CNR Rao is an Indian chemist or Chintamani Nagesa Ramachandra Rao. Uh, he was a worker in the field of solid state chemistry and has worked on transition metals and their oxides. So this is not possible again. Bhava wrong, Rao wrong. So MS Swaminathan, Dr. MS Swaminathan or Manokombu Sambasiva Swaminathan was an Indian geneticist. He was called the father of Green Revolution in India for introduction of and development of the high yielding variety of wheats in India. So this is also wrong. Come to C. V. Raman. <clears throat> Dr. C. V. Raman or Chandra Shekhar Venkata Raman is an Indian physicist known for his work on the area of light scattering put into a theory called uh, the Raman effect. We better know it as Raman effect. So what is Raman effect? Actually it's a change in wavelength of light that uh, occurs when light beam is deflected by molecules. Most of this scattered light is of unchanged wavelength. Uh, only a small amount of uh, light has changed wavelength, which is different from the incident light, actually. 
it 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 takes place when light enters in a molecule and uh, interacts with the electron density uh, of the chemical bonding which is actually causing the electromagnetic field in the molecule leading to vibrational and uh, deformation of uh, uh, frequency shift thus the change in wavelength or lambda as we denote it occurs this is raman effect so we would go with the option or c v raman he proposed this particular theory question number 4 a great amount of work pertaining to indus valley civilization is being done at village birrana where is this village located now birrana location so indus valley civilization was uh, uh, on the northern western northwestern side of india pakistan adjoining areas okay so we, that that state has to be uh, an, a, a particular area from that locality okay from that area so tamil nadu you can reject at first sight bihar also you can reject so it remains gujarat and haryana so we can see the uh, figure out here in this map so birrana or birdana uh, is a small village located in fatehabad district of uh, haryana india having a history of pre indus valley civilization that times back to the uh, 7th 8th 7th millennium bce on the banks of ghagar river this ghagar river is sometimes called as saraswati river in uh, vedas okay uh, these excavations were um, very recent okay dating back to 2003 uh, 2006 etc so uh, it is it is birrana the situation of birrana is actually uh, 220 km northwest of new delhi and uh, it it is uh, till now it is the biggest harappan site uh, spread uh, over over 190 km it is the oldest site also so we would go with haryana coming to question 5 Mangalyaan has been called the super smart spacecraft which organization is involved in it so a is a uh, isro uh, indian space research organization b tisco tata iron and steel company c pslv polar satellite launch vehicle and d nasa national aeronautics and space administration so uh, this organization nasa belongs to us and it is uh, responsible for civil space uh, programs etc as well as aeronautics and space research research in uh, united states of america so this is not possible mangalyaan is a Mm, super smart spacecraft from india only okay so tisco is from tata and it is a uh, it's a company making uh, iron and steel products okay so this is not possible again pslv pslv is a vehicle it's not an organization okay it is the first indian launch vehicle to be equipped with the uh, liquid uh, what should i say stages liquid stages okay so pslv is also not possible come come to isro so uh, i can say that uh, isro is an organization or uh, indian space research organization mm, does some pioneering work research work in india uh, in the field of uh, space technology in nations development okay so mangalyaan or mars orbiter mission uh, that is uh, Uh, mangalyaan it's orbiting mars since uh, 24th september 2014 it was actually launched uh, almost uh, one year back like uh, 5th november 2013 by isro so we would go with the option isro question number 6 if one has lactose intolerance he or she is likely to avoid dash now uh, lactose is a sugar 
lactose is a sugar present in milk okay it's uh, lactose is not present in sugar lactose is not present in honey alcohol okay only milk has got lactose so some of the children uh, right after birth or some days after birth they develop certain uh, phys uh, physiological conditions or certain, certain abnormalities uh, that uh, whenever they consume milk they cannot digest it they they start vomiting or sometimes abdominal cramps occur or sometimes diarrhea occurs so that sort of uh, problem is actually called as lactose intolerance so when as and when the person is taking milk this happens so every time the person is taking milk this happens so observation is like that all these things develop when they consume milk okay so this can also be developed by certain person uh, if for a long time that person has not consumed any sort of milk or milk product like that so that person may also have uh, developed lactose intolerance so when he consumes or she consumes milk that person may also show diarrhea uh, that uh, vomiting and uh, abdominal cramps after milk consumption so we would go with milk as the correct option question 7 what is the name of new crop insurance scheme approved by the union cabinet so the name for new crop insurance scheme approved by union cabinet okay Uh, nehru fasal bima yojana no it is not the name pradhan mantri fasal yojana yes this may be correct rashtrapati fasal bima yojana no it is not there bharat fasal bima yojana no this is not there we would go with option pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana question number 8 in a class while the teacher is teaching a lesson then dash so this dash should be filled up from this options a it is good idea it's a good idea to read the same chapter at the same time while the teacher is re, uh, teaching okay b it is good so it, it this is not okay this is not possible if the teacher is talking you should not be uh, reading you should listen to her okay b it is good it's a good practice to take notes okay this might be possible okay the correct option okay c one must simply listen attentively and d it matters little as one can catch up in coaching classes now this is also correct uh, incorrect so this and this option we are uh, deleting them okay so we are remain with this these two b and c it is good practice to take notes and uh, simply listen often attentively so if you listen attentively you will remember for two days three days or even one week at least but after that you are going to forget that so better to take notes and listening parallelly to the teacher wherever you find a new point you just take a note of that what the teacher is speaking uh, on a particular topic so we would go with the shops so question number 9 v s naipaul is a famous writer who has won both booker prize and nobel prize in literature which among these is not a literary work of v s naipaul so uh, let's know who is v s naipaul sir v s naipaul or vidyadhar suraj prasad naipaul is a person of uk citizenship he has origins of india now uh, naipaul won the booker prize in 1971 for his book in a free state he won nobel in the year 2001 so the options here a half a life b river of smoke c a bend in the river d magic seeds so out of these uh, a c and d these are uh, works of vs Ni- naipaul so naipaul has written them but uh, this one is not written by naipaul but uh, probably this is written by amitabha ghosh question number 10 dash is the physicist engineer and inventor whose name is synonymous with 
small speakers that generate big sound now this particular sentence must be related to that person out of these four jc bose or jagadish chandra bose sumit ghosh amar ji bose and the vinod dua so let's see who are they uh, jc bose is a, a physicist biologist and botanist he was a pioneer in radio and microwave optics and had uh, interpreted the power of feeling in plants the bose institute in kolkata was founded by him in 1917 so uh, he is not an inventor of any sort of uh, speakers okay this is for sure so let's cancel him sumit kosh is a is an entrepreneur okay so it's not possible come to vinod dua vinod dua is an uh, indian journalist so uh, vinod dua is also not possible come to see amar ji ghor bos amar ji bos or 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 commonly called bos okay so uh, he was an american entrepreneur and uh, academician he was an electrical engineer uh, and also a sound engineer he was a professor at the MIT or Massachusetts Institute of Technology for over 45 years he was also the founder of uh, and the chairman of Bose Corporation so these big speakers uh, which were used in the earlier times uh, were heavy to handle and uh, obviously they uh, used to make bigger sound but uh, people were in search of some certain things like uh, it should be portable to hang carry on and uh, should come under a uh, small space and all that so uh, boss is the only company that uh, produced these uh, small speakers all those small speakers that we see in today's time is a contribution from dr amar boss so we would go with the option c so friends today it's up to this much if you like this video give us a like and share it subscribe to our channel for more such content and to support it meet you soon with some new content till then it's bye